Greetings, Commanders. This is Pagan Hood, and we are looking at 24 in the beautiful Long War versus Mod Jam versus 40k with maybe too many mods. And we're getting it on, so please do some YouTube stuff. Any buttons will do. Let's take a look at where we are. If we expand this, we've started a lot of projects with the uh, extra supplies we got. We're gonna have a part the rest and dev, the resistance come. We are now on the proving ground. We'll now have advanced a scope soon enough and we'll be able to start using them. So things are moving along sw smoothly. We've also liberated a new region. So we should have some supply at the supply drop. I don't know exactly how much, but this should be in the two to three hundred. We should be able to build shit, pretty much. Now we're on a slew of autopsy in the research because uh, we've been we've had a lot of backlog in there. When the rest and dev comes along, this is where I think we'll be able to open weapon caches, which is also in and out in itself interesting. Uh, we can do the Skulljack mission, but we are not super. Uh, this is not a priority right now. We can do it at any time. And we're going to pick and choose a mission when there's no timer to accomplish this. So uh, that we can take our time and get it done without getting overwhelmed. And that's about it. So, as we head into over here, we are out of contact. However, I would have loved to contact a new region at this point. But because this one is seven, as this one is six. Neither of which are... Neither of these are perfect. Setting course for sector I would seven. love to have a... Western open a third Europe. region and perhaps... Uh, get some easier mission done somewhere. But this is what we have. And we'll uh, try and make do. What do you got for me? Find a lead. Bio purge. Wow. Bio beasts. Okay. Oh, and this just went up to seven, of course. Ah. It went up to 16 to 18. If I remember correctly, uh, we we when we started that mission, it was not going to be 16 to 18. Yeah, we sent some of our... Small, uh, smaller units or less experienced unit to gain experience but in the meantime be between there and now we jumped up to 16 to 18 enemies with a bio trooper de deployment so even if I boost this I'm gonna board setting course for the Brazilian corridor yeah it happens you, you book a mission, you wait 10 days, and then the region is straight 8. It just went up to 8, right there in front of our eyes. Wow, this is uh, escalating quickly. 7 and 8, these are... From 8, eight and pl uh, eight plus, it's almost impossible to do any mission. Especially any liberating mission. Oh, we are in a squeeze. That is no good. Setting that is no good Western at all. Europe. I've had a lot of time of course. to come up with these tricks. I lo oh, you really you captured the core. The chosen aren't afraid Bastard. to sabotage tactics if it means slowing down our efforts. Okay, we, we got this. Prevent these attacks before they catch up with us. Elite scope next. What you got? Eight days for ambush. That would be interesting, actually. We could reduce the enemies in that region, but we're facing 22 to 24, and there's a sharp chance that it could be even more for the eight days that we have. But I'm gonna Any do it. Course for Brazil. <laughs> when a region gets uh, 9 plus or 8 plus Commander it can Titan start uh, attacking region that we have freed 
We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. So this would be real bad, is what I'm saying. Alright, uh, we're gonna send some of our best in here, that's for sure. We do need to train some new people. So I'm gonna send at least one squire. Now with these uh, long, big enemies like these, melee builds are not the best because you can trigger the whole map by just charging an opponent. We have our last gun equipped, we have our Phobos pattern bolters. And now we can build... Scopes. Advanced scopes. Advanced scopes. There you go. We can now equip our troops properly. So let's take the Phobos pattern bolter and give it a scope. Right? Right? Aha! Okay. What else can we do? You, sir... Let's give you last guns. All right, we need to uh, upgrade your appearance, but this is not too bad. It's just the helmet that doesn't fit the rest. Medic kit so for classic support roll. Let's go full support with a flashbang. All right. I hesitate to put all of our best soldier because now we would be quite powerless for an emergency. So let's send a survivalist. And let's send our mech. Or a sectoid. Because a sectoid. I could be creating zombies and making chaos in their ranks. Why not? Let's send a, a sectoid. There we go. So this is this isn't our best team, and this is going to be difficult. But I believe we can get it done. Maybe I should just make a Reaper armor. The one thing I dislike with having too much mod is those very long lists. So now at one point it's a wee bit difficult to see which one I want the Reaper. Predator Reaper armor. There you go, sir. Okay. Disposable RPG. There you go, a well armed dock. All right, so this will be quite a challenge up to 24 monsters or Xenos, I should say. But if we can do it, it would mean less chance of getting attacked in our region. Free region. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. So I consider this a priority mission. Right, so until we can get more contacts, our, we have to go to this for the Western difficulty European 7, Ward. or strength 7. I only need one more mission here, and it would be the Hinder. If I can find the Hinder, I would be a happy man. And then I'd start liberating the region right here. Oh, In six days with seven, 18 enemies? No, it's not possible. Not, not right now. A supply raid. Of four days. 
Supply raids. And 22 enemies now. Supply raids increases the region's strength. So in four days, this region will be eight as well. I do not think I could have predicted this. Wow, this is uh, ramping up fast. Is intriguing. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff with that one. Including jump jets. Sparks and extra purple not, would not benefit. Okay. Scab weave. Immunity to bleeding. Reduce while in recovery time by 25. That's great. Alloyed slitted turret. Alright, so this is some kind of uh, upgraded shiv. Okay. Hybrid alien sword deck. Okay. That is sort of interesting. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. I'm really looking forward to this and seeing what it looks like, and we can start opening up crates. And I really don't like the fact that we're kind of stopped in our progress right now because of these two exceedingly strong region and our inability to do anything else. It might be time to uh, go another approach. This is our first region. So the two regions that have access to it, the first legion that we've liberated, so the two regions that are next to it are the one that the enemies are reinforcing the most. So uh, I might have to pull a Uno reverse card and start attacking the other continent. Like uh, maybe even go to Oceana to uh, see if we can get easier region to work with. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. All right. Uh, do I do psionics? Or do I keep... Advanced magnetic would also be pretty good. Hmm. That's a 16 days commitment. I think it would be best to finish these four autopsy here at four days each. After a careful examination, and then we can go magnetic. Advent unit, I, I certainly admire the courage and tenacity displayed by our troops in the field. They f All right, one hundred and eighty-six percent infiltrated. So, which is, means it's now ten to twelve. This is another one of these that we um, left to cook for a long time, and send uh, some of our less experienced troop. We have six of them, including two squires, but it is only very light, so we should be able to get this done. Hopefully. Maybe. To be determined. I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, sure. We have a classic capture or kill. Mm, the best results are, of course, the capture. Now, we have an escape on the roof. That's in out of itself can add a wee bit of challenge and or complexity. Because uh, you're when you're trying to escape, uh, you need to know where the access to that building are. You can get caught with your pants down when you're running for your life and re from reinforcements. And you suddenly realize that the access to the roof is behind the building four turns away. So yeah... Mm. Roof uh, escapes can be a wee bit more dangerous, and you always have to figure out what is the access to the rooftop as quickly as possible. Speaking of buildings, we seem to have a big one in front of us. So that's most likely what we're going to do right now. Um, so those are not terribly difficult mission, but we do have a squad of squires and not too experienced people. So we don't have... A shit ton of firepower to uh, and rockets to bail us out of a dangerous situation. So we, we must not get caught. That's what I'm saying. So, we have a recon here and we're going to use her. Because that is her job. I'm departing now. Now, I'm not going to go too close to the windows here. 
Because if it were there were an enemy inside the building looking up, I could have been spotted. But it looks fine for now. So we're gonna send everybody up. I must run. Not all of these soldiers are designed for long range or rooftop, but for now we're gonna use the hate advantage to traverse, for traversal at least. I carry forth his will. Right, sure. Sure, true, sure. Let's use the recon again. That's our job. Ah, I see what you have in mind. Alright, we spotted our first group uh, near our VIP, which is, uh, yeah, what you could expect. There's always at least one here. Target identity confirmed. His enemies shall be cleansed this day. <laughs> nice, I love her voice. Alright, so we're going to take position around here. We have the advantage. We could do a classic... Moving there. Classic Overwatch ambush from this position. This might be the play. Double time. Yeah, I cannot explode them. At least not without killing the capture we want to do. On the move. So... Oof, those are terrible hacking skills. I'm not gonna try and alert the map, no. Affirmative. Covering now. Pick up the pace, initiate. Now, doing a classic Overwatch ambush is a good idea, ambush. but we haven't seen any of the other enemies down there. Well, there we go. I have eyes on the enemy. Big mutant group in a, in a drone. Okay. I have a feeling we could be overwhelmed if we're not careful. I do have his heavy weapon. And that's about our only explodey in this one. So we have to make it count. I mean, if I went down there and fired my heavy weapon on all of these, I would consider this a good way to start. Let's see if we can even make it happen. Yes, we can. Well, that's tempting. That could do a lot of good kills. I could set up everybody else in Overwatch. It's risky, though, because if a lot of enemies survive, ready. we don't have the best no doubt, cover no up here. To, uh, I'm going to keep Fatal as uh, somebody to maybe mop up survivors. Confirmed. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. All right. Well, that's a big gamble. If too much of them survive, we could be in trouble. But the being able to hit four enemies and shred armor as a start with an Overwatch uh, ambush, yeah, it's hard to get better. So let's go. Woo! -hoo. Position revealed. So I didn't kill a single one of them. That's bad. Okay. One out of one. I'll take that. Oh, these two are not getting overwatched. Oh, shit. These three are not. Wow. Well, then. Not even close. You missed a 92 there, buddy. So all of them are active with only one kill on a drone. That's exactly the worst case scenario I was fearing. I bring justice. Come on over here. Unwise to reveal yourself. Hi. How are you doing? I've got the loot. 
Implacable hit and run. So, two more actions for you. That's why I love to keep the skirmishers as a finisher. Because uh, it gives me option to try and get rid of one before, or maybe one more, before shit hits the fan. Looking at my options. Or, instead of a... Uh, yeah. I was thinking of using maybe a flashbang. If I can flashbang the two most dangerous out there, which I think would be these mutons. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go over here. See if I can flash, but I can get only one. Okay. Fuck. Well, I tried. What can you do? Throwing flashbang. If I could have gotten the two mutons at least, it would have been less potential damage. Systems. Yeah. Aha. It's only a graze. Frame damage detected. Right. So the Harrier will not be acting, okay, because he's, uh, all right, disoriented. The Hunter. Does a powerful hit of six damage. He's still taking more hits. Okay, but we survived the round. Hmm. Our Geth unit took some shots, but he survived. Let's see what kind of options we have. The Hunter is definitely the most dangerous. So what are my options? Not a good one. Mm hmm. What about this? Maybe. This uh, is not the best start. Let's be honest. This is not great. What about this? Pistol whip. It's another option for you there, but it's still not that great. Alright, let's take that one. That's a flanking shot. Enemy combatants in the field. Uh, okay. What's a trick shot already? Alright, let's go for the 70% kill right here. Kill or be killed. That's one down out of many. That could be very valid, getting rid of that one. Let's go. So you miss a 93. This isn't the time for missing a 93. Yet there it is. Fuck! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Are these hunter... Do they have the reflex of... I don't think so. The Harrier, I think I can get him. That worked. To just go get some cover. What about you? I could, uh, yeah, get rid of that again. Okay, you didn't miss. So we have four active now. Tired of 
I could get that engineer with you. Like this. And I should use Soothing Light. Come on, get back Absolutely. The I should be using that every turn. But that ended her turn, so maybe I should not have. Ah, for real. We missed a 93 and an 86 in this round. And both of them would have made a huge difference. This sucks. A muton spotting a muton. Can you miss an 88 you bought you? No. Okay. Ah, uh, for real. Yeah, this is what happens when you do missions on a strength 7. It, uh, yup, it's no joke. <laughs> ah, she's not looking too good, is it? Fuck. Yep. Alright, so we lost one of our squire we wanted to train. This mission was maybe a wee bit too much for the forces that I sent. You, sir, came out to play, so why not I? Their armor saves them. Alright, so we got the big guy. That's that's good. That's good. We get the implacable. We could do that. Now the three active, I believe, counts with one of them being hostile. So there actually could be another group out there. Sixty-two. Why is that? Weapon range. Okay, at least it worked. Pistol whip only fifty-eight. This sergeant is hard to hit. Sixty-nine. Can you nice for me? Ah, of course not. Okay. Step into the corpse of your friend. Only 36. Throw in the hook. Trying to finish that sergeant so we don't take too much damage. But it does not appear that I can. Um, uh, maybe I can do that. Okay, Grace, but it was enough. What do I have left? I have only the VIP and the other one. There's there, gotta be move. another group out there. Because the, this guy is uh, increasing the numbers. There's gotta be another group of enemy. And more of these guys, of course. Wow, this mission turned to shit real fast. And here's the other predicted group. Steady, the battlefield is growing. But at least I think these will be the last one. F 
probably gonna get hit in melee here. Just hoping it won't... Oh, he's gonna be able to swipe them both. The armor took care of it. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so. So, so, so. I don't want to use our Stalker and Dead Mother to finish these guys because they have a bit of a longer range shot, but these guys are too far. Let's do, do, do this. How many is that now? That's done. You, sir. If I were to be aggressive, I could go here and fire on these fine folks. Let's do it. Movement indicates flanking. Skirmisher, purifier, frost priest. It's gotta be the purifier. Come now, I'm in its range, so it might not have been a good move. Like not at all. Maybe it's time for this. This is a messy fight, guys. I'm sorry. Kind of messed up. I was not expect when we started that mission, infiltrating that mission, we didn't have a uh, such a strong opposition. So I uh, kind of got caught. Okay, but that worked. The purifier is down. Would have been funnier if he exploded, but I will take this. Then I'm gonna shoot this guy. Nice two hits. Okay, 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 okay. I'm seeing may uh, maybe here. So you're saying there's a chance. Roger that. You two get in range. Not much choice. Oh right, he can melee. Repositioning. And now he goes up. And the priest will do priestly thing like freeze weapon, okay. Eat back. Alright, I think it was too far for melee. So I think the faceless for this turn is not an issue. And now there's reinforcements, because of course there is. Woo! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go get him. I carry forth his will. Ah, I forgot about that. Their battery and ammunition to spare for us. But I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. This world is rid of an unholy blight. An unholy blight. You sir are too far away. Uh, we have this guy upstairs. We have this fellow, but we must also now start thinking of being ready for reinforcements. I think I'm gonna fire at you with your head, with the cannon to do the maximum damage. Then we're gonna put, uh, in a perfect world, I would be able to kill the one on top. I cannot. Can't even reach the skirmisher from up there. I go quickly. Mm -hmm. All right, so my choice will be This.
You can't handle me. Then we're gonna put our best shooter in Overwatch. Scanning. And hope we can catch some reinforcements. Now we still have a skirmisher alive up there. Who's probably gonna hurt us. That's what I got. And here's another one. We've got Advent here. At least those are not the most dangerous troop in the world. And we do have an Overwatch. Okay. Enemy destroyed. We'll just have to do. Now that skirmisher is probably gonna hurt our Akimbo. Which isn't ideal. Right, so now we need to kill these guys and get out of here. So you, sir. Position flight. Get him, please. No less than they deserve. You, sir. Now, Fatal here would be a good candidate to go get these guys. But they're a bit far for even him. May I slash any of them? No, I'm only getting this. I can still fire this. So my options is a 78 is not too shabby at all. So if you would please take it. By one. If we go on to be aggressive, because we need to, we need to move and get out of here. We're gonna do this. Sixty-one percent. This is, of course, a miss. It done. This mission has not been easy. Intriguing. But right now I'm doing this. It's a bit of a waste of a heavy weapon, but I didn't know I could use it twice. Right, it has a countdown of five. That's amazing. Fifty-eight. Then mother for the win. My weapon spent. Whew. All right, reinforcements are back to yellow. Status confirmed. Target That's gonna happen soon. Just a pain in my neck. VIP in tow here. Let's run. This is the time to run. And as we discussed earlier, the access to the roof is here, so at least that part is not a problem. Tracking route to target. Full speed. We're looking at 16 killed so far with our little group of six. Which is not too shabby. We lost we did lose one in the initial uh it, it was too it. much. Lost our recon. Here they are. Maximum range. Now I won't be able to get everybody out. A competent approach. Go, go, go. Ten four. Okay. So we're gonna finish the turn manually. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna evac with everyone at the same time, not just leave two people as the only target. Let's see what's what. Four of them this time. I've got eyes on Advent troops. 
Right, but I don't think any of them is going to be able to overwatch to uh, problem solve. We lost one of the little squire we came here to train with. Damn, these region are getting stronger and fighting 20 enemy with a group of squire. That's that's a lot. VIP secure and in position for evac. All right, so this wasn't the best. But it happens. And this is this guy, XCOM. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. All right, so I'll see you guys in a moment. So, all right, that was a little rough. Uh, operating in strength seven or eight region with uh, squires is not ideal. When the strength of a region gets that high, uh, we couldn't, we can't send unprepared people. So this is gonna get harder. Provide an ally with a pack of bandage to stop bleeding effect and heal for one HP for each return. Uses four permission. That's useful. Stop and partner. That could be interesting, but for that we require a partner. That's always useful. Provide an ally with a pack of bandage. Sure, okay. So that's a healing ability. All right. Being more versatile is always good with the healing ability. Lightning reflexes is going to be... The Akimbo is an interesting one, but it's a bit hard to use with his short-range pistol. Leg shot could be useful for follow-up. We have bullet time. No longer ends your turn. That's a thing. Okay. The bond maids get two to four health. And that scales with bond level. Well, if I would bond him and the den mother. There would be a scaling mental defense and health. That's a thing. Skills with bonds. That's a new thing. <clears throat> In my experience, when you have a long playthrough and 70 soldiers, it's so hard to keep track of all the bonds and who's with whom and all that. Let's go bullet time. Let's go Matrix. Alright, well, we did get this guy, at the very least. The Geth unit can get the bond, so that's interesting as well. Alright, so this could have went better. I'm not a fan of the only two regions available to work with being so high in strength. Avenger plotting new course. This one is going to go up to 8 soon with this convoy as well. None of that is very pleasant. Nine days for supply. The already is the lowest level one as straight three. Is the one where we already have unlocked the HQ and don't really need more stuff. Laboratory facility ah. operational. Okay, let's take a look at this new thing. Even has a nice little... Sure. Nice little animation for it. Why not? Choose project. Wow! Look at that! Laser grenade, magnetic grenade, destroyer cannon. 
Whoa, so we have dozens and dozens of new stuff only in this room. Holy shit. Well then. Oh, and the Requiem stuff is gonna be in there as well. And that I can take a look at all my inventory of items. That's useful. Decrease research time and gremlin. So it's both the laboratory and the engineer thing that I forget at the same time. And it has plenty of projects. All right. Plus two staffing gremlin. And I'll be able to send the gremlin here. I now have two available. This coil could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems. There you go. We'll need to add some shielding first Starting to, to put the this crew. here. Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before I can start clearing out some of these other rooms. We should recruit an engineer. Can I put a gremlin? Oh, so the two gremlin and went over here. That's amazing. Okay, so we can send the gremlins to get the machinery out. Clean the rooms. Okay, that's gonna make things interesting. And now I can do something about all of that. Neurotoxin grenade it sounds like fun. And I want to take a look at these things. Advent Enforcer Rifle. Advent Auto... Advent Breaker Auto Sniper. Persuader Pistol. Smart Machine Gun Inducer Carbine. Acid Launcher. Scout Sniper Rifle. Okay. Let's start with that. Because I've been curious about these things for a while. And it looks like it doesn't take a lot of time. And then let's do those two research projects. Wow, it opens up so many things. Seating round. Innervative round. Wow! Well, there's a lot of new shit, guys. There is a lot of new shit. As if it wasn't enough. You now I have a lot of new shit. Oh, very well, then. Very well. That, the ro that room, the laboratory, was before just an option. It went from being an option to being exceedingly important. Okay. Well, there we are. We've unlocked a lot of the stuff where I was wondering what the fuck am I doing with these things. Together, we have succeeded. All right, all right, all right. We just received some new intel on the chosen commander. My followers grow increasingly reverent of your abilities, commander. We can Mental fortitude. All battle madness only lasts one turn. That is very strong. Abilities. As a result, our influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the chosen. I could recruit a new Templar, give us another soldiers. I could rescue a rogue operative. I don't know. Or I could do that with you as well. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Let's get everybody. To level 3, and then we can assault them as soon as we can. Doesn't appear that it needs high experience, so let's go. No risk of failure. We will work hand in hand with our new allies. Okay, so things are going well then. 
Incoming message for you. Commander. What do you got for me? Patching it through to your quarters. I mean, that's you great. Have made considerable progress against the almost 500 income last month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will keep going for sabotage again. Success. You believe in a lot of loose ends untied, and the trail is fresher than can instigate ever. an additional dark event. Oh. Closer to finding us, Commander. We should use every Initiate another dark event. Oh no. So now we have three dark event. Permanent entwine. Two more damage per turn. Oh boy. For Viper attack. The major breakthrough, we already are covering it. Undying loyalty, that's not permanent, but it sucks. I'd love to stop that one if I can. <laughs> I don't have a Viper fetish. Well, we have one on board. Hmm. Oh, that could be the solution to my problem. Weapon research, I don't need it right now. Give me two more contacts. That's the solution to our problem. Very good. I'm gonna do that. Getting more action point to make stronger soldiers is too important. Shredding more armor is too important. Okay. We obey. Let's just finish this here. Plasma grenade. Crag. Coal and rocket accelerated grenade uses overclock. Flicks away the modified alien grenade, launching it at supersonic speed. Fortunately, without a heavy and bulky compensation and cooling unit, the coil lining invariably fries during the shot. Oh, that's, that's a new uh, one shot launcher. That's what you're telling me. Okay. Incre uh, incredible. Alloy grenade. Deals 5 to 9, but has a minus 2 armor penetration. An anti personal grenade. Illyrium thrower. So that's a fancier flamethrower. Okay. Mag launcher. X4. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a lot. In 20 hours, I could do my Ender. Fuck you. Eh, we're good. I'm getting closer every day. 48 you Intel, I will take. Trail of destruction. At this rate, I'll be touring the Avenger in no time. Advent Breaker Auto Sniper Rifle. So that's what we've unlocked. It is designed to fire your entire magazine in a single burst. Holy shit. Carry on. Resistance Communications Facility now operational. Okay. So just like that, we have now three new contacts. And now we have a mech sniper. We have our first mech or mechanized trooper. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff to keep track of. Enforcer assault rifle. Oh, it's an alternate alternate to a bull pop, okay. Sure. Thank you. Setting course for sector ten, Eastern United States. We're gonna visit the black market a schnittle bit. See what we can find. Market is open. 
We could buy buy ourselves a new rec recon to uh, replace the one we lost. I believe I will. Expanded body, unwavering stance, advanced hacking. We're okay for the rest. Doctor recovered from our sabotage wound. We have a new pe person here on supply. Very well, so... These places being too strong right now, we're going to switch gear and attempt to contact this place. See what kind of region Australia. we're looking at. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Flame Canister. Ooh. 2 HP, 1 armor, immunity to fire, radiation, and standard poison. Wow. Okay. Uh, don't mind if I do. Incendiary grenades. This specimen. Let's keep on with the four the autopsy, then we're gonna go advanced. Based on its history with the Reaper factor. Advanced uh, magnetic. Most indifferent, if not outwardly wistful of the chosen. As to what it truly seeks, I cannot say. So the but new recon the that we've opened and the mech sniper. Makes no effort to yeah, I need to customize this soldier. Don't look at how ugly it is right now. But let's upgrade you. Tracking. Tracking is the main one. Shadow, Shadow step is amazing. Free battle scanner. Nice. It's gonna be the free battle scanner. And now that you're here... All right, so you cannot use a bull pop. I'm just curious about the new and the new weapons. Ooh, you two needs a wee bit of customization. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> All right. Ah, that's that's better. That's much better. There we go. First mech. So look at that gigantic weapon and then the one on his back. That's amazing. And now you are a mech sniper. That's a Jaeger. Lock and load. Kills with your heavy cannon. Restore one's ammo. Don't mind if I do. Spotter. And catapult. Cool. Archer and catapult. Jaeger. That's, uh, that sounds familiar. So what can we do with that? All of your weapons do not destroy your wool loot when they kill enemy and then one bonus damage to an unarmored enemy. Even rockets from boat launchers. That could actually be a thing. But being more accurate is more important. Once permission you can increase the bonus for 12 tile for return. Alright. Fire in the hole. Accuracy over anything. Detecting a nearby enemy is a thing. Overwatch trigger with squad side that is very strong. We well, have lots of boom potential. The heat warhead. Damn good ground is also very sexy. Let's go for long watch. We're gonna go for accuracy over specialty for now. Until I understand everything I can do with this fellow. Long watch, that's always gonna be useful. And fire in the hole, more accuracy with rockets, always gonna be useful. But before I specialize you and explode the, with these things, we're gonna see what we can do.
doesn't cost an action. Yeah, it's gonna be a this one's mine. <laughs> All right, so loadout. This is where I'm interested. So you have a T-17 Archangel Mark Artillery Cannon. Does massive damage, but is a clip of only one. Is there other options? Mech Flamethrower, Artillery Cannon. The more classic stuff. All right. So as a mech sniper, you're going to be specialized in that artillery cannon. Okay. Ordnance launcher. Mech shield. Prototype strike module We're for melee. Okay. What can you launch with that? Bonus grenade radius. Bonus grenade range. Auxiliary. Hmm. Lots of grenade. Okay. So the ordnance launcher launches grenade. But. But, 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 but. Engineering. Resin dev. Okay. Build item. So this is where all, all of the items that we've been seeing... Like ordnance accelerator. That's gonna be the ex the uh, upgraded accelerator. Sure. Plasma edge sword, tail booster alpha. There's so many things now. So many things. Crag, okay. Enhanced pistol, all the target. I'm looking for the stuff for our Mac that we've been seeing, but not really sure what to do with them until now. That, okay. R9, we need a super laser mech artillery cannon. Ordnance accelerator. I mean, if we're gonna have our first mech, I wonder if this is what it was. We're like gonna in equip the old it. Days. Always on edge, ready for a fight on a moment's notice. Certainly keeps you on your toes. <laughs> it's never not gonna be funny. There you go. Nine thirteen. Nice. Ordnance launcher. What can go in that auxiliary slot is the question that I'm asking. Heavy weapon like the restorative mist, but there can there be more stuff that we can put in there? I don't know. That's the his auxiliary is the one that I don't know too much about. We can have a vest. Anything else we can help you with? Upgrade equipment. Nice. We can even upgrade this massive thing. So the problem with it is the clip size of one. So the first thing I would take a look at. Can I put additional ammo? Hair trigger stock. Magazine. Grants an ammo slot. Speed loader. Reload automatically when dashing. Let's give you that. Because that means, if I'm getting this correctly, if you have a clip of one, but you just move afterward, you're gonna just reload. Which, which seems very useful. An advanced scope. Advance heavy barrel. Now we're talking. These that deserve the blue treatment. Okay, this cannot be upgraded. 
Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first mech, and it is a mech sniper. Because why not? Cannot wait to see it in action. With grenade and a artillery piece. <laughs> uh, okay. Well. We're gonna have a very eclectic crew by the end of this, that's for sure. That's clutch. Really? Huh. Medical smoke. Like, uh, happy marijuana. Alright. Advent Persuader Pistol. Excellent handling. It can be fired in close range without spending an action once a turn and cannot graze. Maybe we could put two, two of these on our akimbo. Advanced Inducer Carbine. For the usual to eliminate any cooldown as one of their perks. Really? That sounds very useful. An SMG. Critical hit chance and critical hit chance damage are both high. Okay. Well, there's gonna be a few of these because I'm gonna open all of our crates. Right. So that's a other long time cooking thing, but this one is an extremely light. But that mission will probably be for next time because uh, it's already been almost an hour uh, for this episode. Uh, there's a lot of new stuff that we've unlocked. The resin dev, the uh, the mech, the new uh, enemy weapons. There's so much stuff to keep track of. It's almost too much. But I'm having a lot of fun trying to discover all these things with you guys. I hope you do. So thank you for watching until the end. Please do some YouTube stuff before you leave. And I will see you next time. Thank you.